Now we come to the issue of relating uh, failure detectors to each other. So we are going to talk about reduction, which a technique that is used to relate um, different uh, problems to each other. So we say that a problem X is reducible to Y, and it's just reducible or equal to Y. If X can be solved given a solution to Y, it says X is reducible to Y, I will draw it this way, and it says that X is an easier or as a hard problem as Y. The relation for reducibility is a pre-order um, relation. So let's just look to remind us what is a pre-order. A relation is a pre-order if it's a binary relation, if x is reducible to x, this is what we call uh, reflexivity, and the other thing it says is if x is less or equal y and y is less or equal z, then x is less or equal z. That is, um, of course, um, transitivity. Okay, the relation holds here. The difference between pre order and partial order is that partial orders also allows anti-symmetry, which means that if x is before y in the partial order and y is before x in the partial order, then it implies that x and y are the same objects. This requirement, which is called anti-symmetry, is not required to be part of a definition of a pre-order, which means that it is possible that x is less or equal y and y less or equal x for two objects x and y that are not uh, equal two different objects basically so reducibility is a pre-order relationship let us look to this again it is reflexive given a solution of x, we can implement x. Given a solution of x, we can use it to implement x, of course. It is, reducibility is transitive because given a solution of x using y and given a solution of y using z, then we can use the implementation of y and z to implement x. That is transitivity. So reducibility is transitive. It is not anti-symmetric because it is possible to have one abstraction x that can be used to implement the problem, a solution for the problem y, and we can also have a solution of a problem y to implement x. So these are two different algorithms for two different problems. Okay. So just a shortcut, if x is reducible to y and y is reducible to x, we say that x and y are equivalent. The other one is more important, which is if y can implement x, it means that x is reducible to y, but this does not hold, then 
we say we use this notation first and then we say that x is strictly weaker than y and y is strictly stronger than x so let us now relate reducibility to our um, different kind of failure detectors okay so we know that if we have p we can implement diamond p eventually perfect failure detector because p always satisfies diamond p's property in fact p is strongly the stronger abstraction than diamond p we know in an asynchronous system we cannot or partially we cannot use diamond p to implement uh, p okay so now let us look to what is reducibility is good for so reducibility is common in computability theory and if we know that x can be implemented using y for example and we know that x is impossible impossible then we also know that y is impossible to solve. Here is the other example. We know that P can implement diamond P. And for some problem also we know that diamond P can implement Z. Then of course P can be used to implement Z. So let us look to the issue of weakest failure detector for a problem. This we are going to address a little bit more in detail. Quite often we know that we have a problem x and to implement a solution for this problem we can do it using p but p is not very practical um, so the question arises is because it requires a synchrony the question that arises is is x practical this is a practical problem to solve. Can we solve this problem? Quite often the question reduces to if you have an eventually failure detector, can we use this to implement X? Sometimes this is not possible and it can be proven using this idea of reduction that we just mentioned. So, so a common proof to show that P is the weakest failure detector for some problem X is the following. It goes in two steps. First, we prove that X can be used to implement P very good now the question that rises now arises can we um, implement x using um, 
diamond P. So this is our question. If this is the question. If we assume that we can implement X using diamond P, it means we can implement P using diamond P. But this is a contradiction. which therefore we can say that we cannot implement X by a weaker failure detector than P. So which means that basically diamond P is strictly weaker than X.